Hello, I'm Sam. Setting up Lucy on Windows is so straightforward, let's get straight into it. This is a fresh Windows server. Let's install IIS first. IIS is a web server application that comes with Windows. Let's enable it first. And then install Lucy as the application server. On top of the web server. We are on the Windows features. Select Web Server, from Windows Features. Nothing to change on this screen. This is all good. In this section, we select IIS Features. We can come back here later and modify it as well. Here, let's go to Application Development section, and add .NET. Hit Next, and let it install. This might take a minute to complete. It's done. Go to localhost. We have a IIS homepage. It's working. All good. The next step, install Lucy. We have to download it first. Google, Lucy download. Go to the download page. Sometimes, the latest Lucy does not have an installer. In this case, go to a previous version. It's fine. We can always update after the installation. Found one here. Download, and install. Agree to the license. I'm going to install it on the default location. Set up the Lucy admin password. We are going to need this later. This is memory allocation. This is fairly enough for most websites, but if we need to we can change it later. You can change these default ports if you like. I'm going to keep them as it is. Let Lucy connect to IIS automatically. Now this going to complete the installation. All done. We have Lucy folder in the start menu. Let's go to the Lucy administrator. It's working. There is also a Lucy service controller. With this, we can stop, or restart the Lucy service. Let's give it a try, turn it off, Lucy won't work anymore. Start back again, and let's go to Lucy admin, using the password we entered during the installation. Wait a few seconds until Lucy finds updates. First thing is to update Lucy. I'm going to update to the latest version. While this complete, let's go to the Lucy service controller again. Here we can change our memory settings at any time.
If we want to run Lucy on a different Windows user, we can do that too. Also, we can use Windows Service Control to restart the Lucy service. It is also a good idea to run Lucy on a separate Windows user, but I'm not going to change it right now. Looks like update completed. Lucy is updated. Our cold fusion server is ready. Time to create our websites. I'm going to store all my websites in one main folder. Let's name it Sites. The first site, test1.com. Let's create a folder for it. It can be any name but use a meaningful name. Since this site is empty, let's create an index.cfm file for us to test it. This is our website folder, our CFM, HTML, goes here. Next we have to tell IIS where our website folder is located. Type IIS in Start menu. Let's go to IIS and create a new website. IIS is our web server, Lucy is our application server. That's our stack. Name the site. Point the site to our website folder. This is where my domain name goes. We can bind multiple domain names into the same site as well. If we have an SSL certificate for this site, we can attach that here, but I do not have one. So, let's skip that part. To recap quickly. We installed IIS. And then, Lucy, our application server. Then, we set up our website in IIS and told it where our code is located and the domain name for our site. Now let's see if test1.com works. It works. Nice. In this setup, we can have multiple sites on the same server. Let's create a second site. The second site is test2.com. And the steps are the same. Create a folder, put our cold fusion code in it, go back to IIS, create a new website, and point to the new folder. New site name. The domain name for the site. Path to the folder. Open test2.com. We get an error because we do not have an index file in this site. Let's copy over our index.cfm file for testing. All right. It worked too. Each of these websites has access to the Lucy admin panel. It's your domain name, slash, Lucy, admin, server.cfm. Let me copy it. I can go to Lucy admin using our new URLs as well.
we can go to the server admin or site admin. Even though the admin section is password protected, we should not open the server admin to the public. That can create a security risk. In production settings, it is the best practice to block all unnecessary access to the public. We can block the admin URL using IIS. Go to our website. Request filtering. URL. Under deny sequence, add the admin path. Lucy, admin, let's block that. Now IIS will reject all requests coming to this URL. IIS stores these settings in the web.config file. We can even copy this file from one site to another. That's it. This Lucy server is ready. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button. In the following video, I will show you how to create multiple Lucy instances on the same server.